is she got for my husband? This is so fascinating to me. <laughs> She's Taylor's neighbor? This is a huge scandal! Let's just dive in to what I've been wanting to talk about. Taylor Frankie Paul is a TikToker that's in a group of mom TikTokers. And a couple weeks ago, she posted this story. She posted this TikTok and then everyone that had been watching from mom talk, I guess, and like, dude, they're just all like super hot moms. And like, they're like, hey, we're moms. We mom together. I don't know. I guess that's what like a community of moms does. So they kind of get this really, really big cult following. Well, after a couple weeks, this, oh my God, this is straight drama bows. This is straight nosy bosey right now, okay? So they started mom talk like somewhere in 2020. So about two or so weeks ago, Taylor Frankie, she posts this story and people start to notice that some of the other mom talkers unfollowed her on like TikTok and on Instagram and everything. And everyone's like, well, what's the beef? What's the drama? Now, if you are solo, kicked out of a group everyone in the public is going to assume that you're the problem so everyone starts gossiping trying to figure out like what's happening with taylor frankie paul like what did she do all this stuff and so taylor eventually is done with it and she decided to go live and say what was going on because when there's 10 people in a group that hate you and you're the odd one out well, okay, it could be that this person's an awful person, but it could also be that that one person isn't going to go with the agenda of the group and then they get mad about it. Here we go. Taylor, in her own words. Tate has made out with several girls and other things, and I have made out with all of the husbands um, and other things and vice versa. Is anyone like me where like you, you're you like, okay, cool, you can be in an open relationship. I'm jealous of you, enjoy that, that sounds fun. But then like there's something in the back of your head of those like Christian morals being like, oh my God, you're in your 20s and you guys are like swinging already? Okay, all right. They're portraying being these religious Mormon moms, but then behind the scenes, they have an open relationship, but also this. I don't know what you would call it if it's like soft swinging, but you don't like fully switch, if that makes sense, and go all the way and to be honest, I did, we had an agreement, like all of us, and I did step out of that agreement, and that's where I messed up, and I obviously am losing everything that I have, so that is true, um, but I don't, like, no one was innocent, everyone has hooked up with, like, everyone in the situation, oh, so, like, yes, I'm getting shunned for doing that, but it wasn't like I was, like, going around, like, hooking up with my friend's, like, husband, it was, like, we were at a party, I got belligerent, and we went and messed up like by ourselves rather with the whole group, wait, wait. if that makes sense. Um, one time. It was a one-time thing because we were so like gone. She's just about to go in. So if you if you if you're picking up what she's putting down, all of the people in Mom Talk, the guys and the girls, were all soft swinging. All of them were hooking up with each other. Um, it wasn't just me and this other person that had like feelings for each other and messed up There were other things other people had feelings and it's hard because I can't like I can't spill like everything Girl, you already spilling keep it coming down or like coming out with all of it um No one's innocent in the situation I guess people are just trying to say they like had nothing to do with the situation and they did um they were a part of it and other people I guess I can't say the name, but the other, there was other parties of it that like said that they had feelings and then it was a big blow up. So then I got dropped because we weren't honest about like people having feelings, if that makes sense. Oh um, my God, dude, this is a mess. Yeah, regardless, Tay and I are getting divorced. Oh um, my goodness. We played with fire and we got burnt and um, that's what happens. What, is, who's her husband, hold on. Taylor, Frankie, Paul, husband. What does he look like? This is my nosy voice. Oh, he's so there basic. Are three divorces in our friend group right now. What? Going on. Um, one not really to do with the situation. But there's two of us that are getting divorced, two families. And we are not my I guess Tate and I doesn't want to be friends with any of the group. Um, there's rumors that Tate is like on their side and with them and that's totally false. Wait, um, I gotta show you guys what her what her dude looks like. Dude, I might, you know, after listening to this and realizing that Taylor realized that it was every man for themselves in this situation and all of these bitches were going to stick together, she was like, you know what? I'll just burn the place down. <laughs> 
This is this is her and her boyfriend. And then this is her and her kids. She's so hot. Like, what are we doing? Like, what? <laughs> um, if I have to bring Tate on here to say that, I will because he doesn't want to be friends with any of them. He thinks none of them are true friends. Um, there were a lot of sneakiness going on um, with our f entire friend group, and he knows that. And he, when people are saying Tate is like f with this side, he doesn't. He's not a fan of any of them that you guys think he's a fan of. Um, <coughs> Oh, so just to clear oh. that up, um, Wait, it's, yeah. her, it's her man, right? I think the reason why this is so interesting to a lot of people is because the, the TikTok religious moms all portrayed themselves as perfect. And then we find out beneath the scenes that none of that is true at all. They were just, they were selling the dream and fucking each other. I think we had a lot of other issues. And then this was like the tip of the iceberg. I guess soft swinging is when you like, do other things, but you don't go all the way, is what I've been told. That's what happened with us. Can you imagine if your dude cheats on you and he's like, babe, I was just soft swinging. Bitch, that's an agreement. But yeah, to be honest, like none of them were our real friends. You can see when something like this happens, they all kind of go hide and your true friends really come out. Like tons of family and friends that know the story are super supportive. That's true. Um, I am actually friends with most of the mom talk group. There's only like two of them that I'm not friends with. Um, you probably know the two that are- Let me just be very clear. Cause I've been in this industry for seven years. You are not fucking friends with any of your content creator, fellow ensemble cast. You're, you're just not. The minute that five or six mom talkers that are all hot get together, it's gonna become a competition of taking power from each other. I'm gonna fuck your husband. I'm gonna take your followers. I'm gonna look prettier than you on this day. There is no way that this works, okay? There's just none. It, it, it's just not. So yeah, of course you guys aren't all friends. They're, you know, um, I won't say their names, but I'm friends with majority of mom talk. Mom talk's actually been- Somebody said, I'm gonna raise your kid. <laughs> Dude, that's probably- that, that would probably be a thing. Where's all the dude drama? I just realized most of the stuff we're covering today is like a bunch of drama from like female groups or like like female influencers. I know there's petty dudes out there. I'm gonna need y'all to get pettier. The reason that I got on social media, which mm -hmm. I did want to talk about, it wasn't actually on social media till I don't know, a story to was told. People. And the story was told to the wrong people that went and like confirmed things on social media. So it wasn't ever from my mouth. I would have only posted about the divorce to be honest, but because it's gotten out there and there's two sides to the story and that we bur we basically were like all open with each other. Um, that was never going to come out because nobody wants to admit that. So I just have to come on here. Oh, and if you guys were in Taylor Frankie Paul's situation and like everyone was trying to act like a saint, one in the chat, if you would do what she did and basically expose everybody. Two in the chat, if you would just be disgraced and get off of social media and just move on with life. I want to say that I'd be, I'd be somewhere between a, a one and a 1.5. I'm very passive. Much intimate with everyone <laughs> and it sucks, but they're going to deny it and that's fine. I just, I'm speaking my truth did and they, they can speak it? theirs, I guess. Hold on, I got to look into this. Um, there's a, a whole Reddit that is dedicated to figuring out what's going on with mom talk. This is a live investigation, okay? I, I only know as much as you know right now, and I'm just gonna dive into this. Okay, let's check this out. Who's who of mom talk master posts? The, okay, here's our cast. Here's our entire cast. All right, more details. Sorry, the pictures are out of order. They're numbered. Okay, here's number six. Who is she? These are, oh my God. Yeah, all of these people are fucking each other. They absolutely are. There she is, Taylor Freaky Paul and her husband. <laughs> Who is this? Where's your man? I'm scared she's gonna fuck my husband. All right, Taylor and her husband, Frank. Uh, she's at the center of all of this drama and what all went down. Known for her constant joking about being a grandma and having a haunted house and having sister, sister wives. Miranda and her husband, Chase. She is one of the OG three of Mom Talk. Okay, so she's a power player and alleges that she and her husband were not involved. Bullshit. There's no way that you would be in this group of six or seven couples all sleeping with each other and you would say, I'm gonna be friends with you guys, but I'm not gonna have sex with your husband. Come on, dude. Miranda and her husband, one of the three. Um, wait, she alleges that she and her husband were not involved. However, she has been seen in some OnlyFans photos with Taylor. The Mormon moms have OnlyFans? Okay, all right, okay. So this is Miranda. 
Miranda that has OnlyFans pictures with Taylor Frankie Paul, but alleges she and her husband were not involved. This is so fascinating to me. <laughs> I, I, there's nothing I love more than the human condition. Camille and her husband, Camille Monday. Taylor said that these two were not involved in the couple swapping because there was too much drama. Oh, come on. Now everybody says they weren't involved. Camille is another one of the OG three of Mom Talk. So you're telling me that the three OG moms of Mom Talk, Camille, Miranda, and Taylor Frankie Paul, are all alleging that they weren't involved in the couple swapping but then these new mom talkers came in and they all started swapping and they didn't say anything. Come on, that doesn't make any sense. Number four, Brayden and McKenna. The man that allegedly Taylor crossed the boundary with and got caught feelings for. So people are assuming this is another one of the couples getting a divorce. Let's see what Brayden looks like. Him? Girl, you... Girl, you done put... Number five, Victoria, friends with McKenna, originally... Oh, was originally posting comments and liking comments in support of McKenna after the rumors of cheating came out, but has since deleted them. Is supposedly neighbors with Taylor. <gasps> she's Taylor's neighbor and she's liking the comments about people hating on Taylor and supporting McKenna. Just so we're all caught up here. Taylor Frankie Paul is the one that we just listened to. This is her right here. She soft swing, swung and hooked up with this guy right here. And then this one, the evil one, she was liking comments, basically calling Taylor a piece of shit, even though they're neighbors. Okay, so they've got some major beef here. These ones right here. Number six, Whitney. People around her husband have an active Tinder account. So that means that her husband must have been on Tinder. <laughs> She's been at the center of a lot of controversy for posting videos dancing in the ICU while her newborn had RSV and other negative things. The emoji girl? Yeah, we don't care for her. We're over her. What's her name again? Six, Whitney. Okay, seven. Others who have appeared in videos with the mom talk group but don't seem to have any involvement in the drama based on their own statements. I think I need to know more information about number five here, Miss Victoria, because Victoria looks the most evil. I'm gonna see what else is on this subreddit. Reminder guys, this is an active investigation. The agreement was we could do anything as long, like if, as long as we were in front of each other and we were like on the same page, it was fine. But the second like you go separately, that's not okay. And so I broke that rule. Quick pause. So this is one of the people from Mom Talk. Her name is Brittany Wheelwright and she like posted this series of stories. As a person that's new to this drama, I just looked at a master list of our cast and I did not see you up here, Miss Brittany Wheelwright. So why are you butting yourself into the drama? So she says, I've got tea. Currently debating if it's a good idea for me to serve it or not. Y'all are sending me things and have friends slash family and mom talk. First of all, the minute she hit send, she wasn't debating a damn thing. The minute she hit send, she made a decision. I haven't read any of this yet. I'm already judging Brittany. So the members of Mom Talk have been thrown to the wolves by you know who, without remorse or any consideration of what this could do to their lives. You know who has been asked to clear these names by, by her remaining friends and family. Okay, hold on. Brittany Wheelwright can go fuck herself because this is so manipulative on so many levels. First of all, it's very dramatic, but I mean, this drama and I'm like all into this. So she's saying currently debating if it's a good idea, like trying to put herself on this moralistic high ground or something like that, but she still posted it and still got involved. So, all right, strike number one, Brittany Wheelwright. Next part. So the members of Mom Talk, that statement right there bothers the fuck out of me because it's like us versus you. The member, the cult, the high order of Mom Talk. That's kind of how she's phrasing it. They've been thrown to the wolves by you know who. You can't even, she can't even post the name without any remorse or consideration of what this could do to their lives. Like y'all were all swinging. Did Taylor Frankie Paul go past the agreement and you know, mess some things up? I don't think that that was the catalyst of this. I think that this group had a lot of problems beforehand, but there was nothing that they could really call out. And then once they, you know, got their hands on this, they just said, this is it. This was the problem the whole time. When in reality, they had a bunch of problems altogether. It wasn't just this. Then she says, 
and she's refusing to do it because of all the traffic this is bringing to her. She knows the speculation she has created is slandering names of those associated with her that that are not in her swing group, but she's more concerned with her social media growth and traffic. Yikes. Then she said, I felt bad for her for a second until multiple sources told me that. Now I just feel bad for those that she's drug into this mess. The yikes is so manipulative. Yikes is meant to make you doubt yourself. Next she says, you know who has made a comment that 90 98% of mom talk is not involved, but just one comment buried somewhere instead of just publicly acknowledging it and clearing them. Likely because the speculation of it being mom talk generates more traffic. Is this is this what they're talking about in their group chats? This is how the, the mental gymnastics. That's all I've got. And now the Reddit gods will decide my fate. Have mercy. It sounds like Brittany is the one that wanted to insert herself into all of this. And she did it for a noble cause to defend her mom talk friends. It's so funny that she says that Taylor Frankie threw them to the wolves when in reality, the mom talkers threw Taylor Frankie to the wolves. <laughs> I'm not speaking of them. I'm not saying names, but because everyone's saying that Camille's like, it has nothing to do with her. She was actually, the group decided that, um, her and her husband were not a good fit for our group because they brought a lot of drama in. So they were kind of like distance from everyone. I thought they were just friends. Why is there a high council? <laughs> Did you guys hear what she just said? Um, our group met them. We hung out for a little bit and we decided that they were not a good fit for our group because they just brought too much drama. This is a cult. Oh my God. Breaking news. Miranda does have an OnlyFans. And that's okay. Guys, we're, we, lo we love women with OnlyFans. We love that. We're like, yes, girl. Yes. Are we mad? No. Are we confused? Yes. Am I confused? Am I confused? Miranda claims that she wasn't taking part in any of the swinger activities, but there's screen caps of she and Frankie in their underwear with their hair like all curled up and stuff on Miranda's OnlyFans. Oh my God, they're in a tub. They're in a tub and they're kissing. Okay, so can confirm, dude, come on. Miranda! What do you mean you weren't involved in swinger talk? You're swinging with his wife in the photo. And she knew she posted these online, like how? Oh, the account was taken down and Miranda later responded and said that these were taken lightheartedly before getting into the hot tub. Okay, so take it straight. Um, never the guys hooked up. Um, only the girls and then the girls would we would make out with each other's husbands this sounds like y'all all got manipulated by your husbands into hooking up with each other so they could watch how did this happen she said they would all get really drunk and then hook up with each other but the rule was the other person's spouse had to be in the room at the same time. This sounds like y'all's husbands got you. I wanna know what the men did. Let's take it back. Equal equality for all genders. I wanna know what the men did because I know that they did some shady shit and then, the, and then some of the girls were out here trying to protect them and act like it's not, it's not you baby or something. And I know that they were doing some fuck shit. When I say that I have proof of things, that means I have text messages about all of this happening. I have everything, I have proof of it. So like, I'm not worried that like, like if anything ever like blew up bad, like I have it all, um, messages, videos, group messages, confirming all that this like happened. Breaking news update. Miranda, the girl with the only <laughs> that claims that she was not involved in this at all whatsoever, issued a cease and desist to Taylor Frankie Paul about six days ago. We definitely drank through all of this. We were intoxicated a lot of the time. Um, I've never denied not drinking, just so that's out there. That's another thing too that makes this really bad. Depending on like what area you're in for Mormonism, like some people can drink, but for the most part, you're not really supposed to drink like at all. And they can be very, um, they can really shame you if you're, if you're still a practicing Mormon and you're caught drinking. This is a huge scandal. I'm to blame, but I think there was like, you guys are like seeing a pebble of what's going on. There's like a whole bunch of sand behind. And I, I can't even give the full details of everything. Obviously, I won't. There's names. There's more details. There's nasty there's details. More and I can't, I'm not going to give that. Um, but there's more to the story than me just like going to hook up with one of my neighbors. Like, we're going into Bo's conspiracy land. 
I think that this group had a lot of issues going on for weeks or for months, but they all kind of liked each other. And so they didn't make a big deal about it. But somebody didn't like Taylor. And the minute that this happened, even though it was just as bad as other things that happened in the group, they made a really big deal about it because they wanted to oust her from the group. Tate is on no one's side here. My husband is on no one's side. My ex, soon to be ex-husband. Look at this. I Y'all stress me out. I'm not reading this. You have to read it. <laughs> I'm still going through the, the Reddit right now. Um, he doesn't like any of them. Um, because of all the secrets and sneakiness that came out along with all of this. So, and that's <laughs> also something they're not willing to share and that's okay. That's their business. They don't have to share that part. Um, but yeah. I'm so sorry if this stream has made you see me in another light. Okay. This post says Taylor. I know you're reading this. Jesus Christ, God, why do people do stuff like this? Just maybe for a millisecond, can you consider the children in all of this, their teachers, their schoolmates, parents, are all gonna see you talking about giving BJs and handies while your husbands watch. Fucking suck whoever you want. Be a swinger, who cares? But think about the children. What is this post? You know what I, you know what I hate about this post? I mean, sure, it's not wrong, Sure, think of the children, but this is some moralistic high ground that somebody's trying to use to have power over a situation that they're watching. Bro, this post is just junk. Look, hold on, this person's like, no, because she loves the attention. Everyone's like, she's so brave. Good on her for being open and honest. Look, we ain't say that either. We're team neutral over here. It's not like she's being honest and open for honesty's sake. It's that she loves the attention this is bringing to her. Put yourself in Taylor's shoes for a second. Do you think that you would be talking about this? because you love the attention and you love the numbers or do you think that you would have talked about this because you wanted to try to clear your name and you felt like your career was going to be over if you didn't god it was so hard for me to not quote this post and say fucking suck whoever you want